What's up, Android? Okay, hi, so this is um, Android PR gal here for blogging at What's Up Android, and I'm here at the DroidCon in Berlin, and we managed to hunt down one of the Android developers who's gonna show us one of his apps. So here he is. Hi. Hello, my name is Tobias Hübiger. I work for Neophonie Mobile, and I developed a small app called the ScheduleBot. It's a small app uh, where you can put your, where you have your uh, conference or barcamp schedules on it, and you can uh, create a time schedule for your day for which session sessions you want to see. Wow, I needed that. Yeah, <laughs> I I needed that too because uh, on every barcamp, on every morning after the session planning, there were a huge uh, crowd over the board, and you cannot get to it. So I wrote the app and. And can you, is it on the Android app market right it now? It is on the app market right now. And what's it called again? Scheduler? Schedulebot. Well, how, how long did it take you to develop the app? Um, it it took me about perhaps one or two weeks. I have uh, done, uh, begin with the development a very long time ago. And I'm going through some iterations with the interface and try to improve it wherever I can. How long has this app been at the, in the market? It's perhaps for about a year in the market, I think. Wow. Do you know up to date how many people have downloaded this app? It's about 4,000 people. Oh, not, not so much. Wow. That's a lot of people. Um, what was some of the feedback? Did you get any feedback at all? Uh, yeah, the first complaints were about uh, the language because I oh. first when I put it in the market I translated only to German okay. and some people complained, oh, it's not English, but uh, I got a little, some good feedback. But you, do you have the, the app in English right now? It's in English right now, yes. Okay, do you know if you have more um, English-speaking people who have downloaded the app as opposed to um, German? Do you know that or no? I, I'm just I curious. Know. I don't know. I don't oh. get that much feedback. Okay, because that's a really an awesome. That's an awesome app because everybody, not everybody, but a lot of our people. There's conferences everywhere and events. Yeah. And this is so cool to have it down on yeah, your. Yeah, a cool feature is also I can show you. But how do you get the data there? Yeah, that's that's the cool feature. Okay. It has uh, some kind of source manager in the settings, and there you can add uh, your own sources. If you have an event, you just put the the file online, and the user adds the URL, and the application gets the schedule from there. Oh, that's great. Okay. Um, is there any other apps you've been you've developed or you're in the current in the process of developing? Yeah, there are two apps. One is in the market right now. It's uh, a small tool to calculate uh, Unix file permissions, uh, some nerdy stuff. Okay. Yeah. And another <laughs> cool. thing I'm doing right now, and I'm gonna put tonight in the market, I think, is a small uh, Polaroid app where I can take a picture, then it puts a Polaroid frame around it, and you can write. Uh, some text on it and it puts it with a handwriting font on the bottom of the Polaroid. Oh, that's nice. And then people can upload that? Yeah. To wherever platform they want yeah, to upload exactly. it. And they can sh um, will you have them be able to share it on these certain social media platforms like Twitter or Facebook? Uh, not in the version I'm okay. going to upload tonight, but I'm planning to do that. Okay, that's great. Okay, here it is. You have this um, Polaroid, you, you're going to be um, putting this Polaroid app on um, the Android market. Do you have any thoughts on what you can do with that in terms of augmented reality? I know I'm just asking you right now, but it's okay. I just want to know: Have you ever thought of anything that what? Yeah, app, what uh, uses that's you can actually use for that? one thing I thought about. It's uh, when you play billiard, you can see through the camera and see uh, where the where you shot. Okay. Will you develop for that later? Perhaps, I don't know yet. Okay, that's really cool. So how do you like the DroidCon? Oh, it's nice. There were some practical sessions. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And I hope there's another one next year. Yeah, I, I, I think of, hopefully there'll be another one this year. I know the first one was in November. So oh, okay. if we play our cards right, um, the DroidCon team will have one again for November. That would you, be nice. you were here at Bar Camp yesterday. Yeah, I was. And um, how did you like that? That was very nice also. There were also nice, some nice sessions, very interesting. Oh good, was it your first bar camp uh, for no. Droid, Android? Oh, you were here last year? Yeah, I was here last oh, year November? and I'm regularly visiting some bar camps in Germany. Oh, that's good, okay. What do you mean, reg you mean Android bar camps? No, not Android bar camps. All kinds. Uh, all kinds of bar camps. 
Okay. You as a developer, you enjoy more the bar camps or do you also get more out of the conferences? Uh, actually, the, the, the DroidCon and the DroidCamp is a nice mix of both together. Okay, that's great. Is there any words you want to tell the organizers and the sponsors um, uh, of DroidCon and BarCamp? Yeah, thanks for all the organization stuff. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much, Tobias. And um, do me a favor, you hold this and you say, what's up, Android? What's up, Android? Great. Okay, thank you. So this is the Android PR gal blogging for What's Up, Android. And we're here with Tobias at the um, DroidCon in Berlin 2010. Cheers. What's up, Android? What's up? Oh,